My name is Ori, and welcome back to Ori's Kitchen. So today we're going to be making tabbouleh. Tabbouleh is a type of salad that's made up of parsley and this thing called bulgari. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And it's a type of grain, like a wheat grain. Um, and it contains lemon juice and all these yummy things. So um, come on over here. All right, so what I have here are four large bunches of regular parsley. Not Italian, but just the regular parsley. And I put it in my food processor, and this is what happened, okay? And by the way, before I forget, I'm not a professional cook. So if some things are a bit unclear, I'm sorry about that, okay? But let's get back to the good stuff. So again, parsley, number one. Number two. This is the bulgar or bulgari that I purchased. Um, you can buy this at the Middle Eastern stores, perhaps Rao's, I think Rao's may have it too. Um, there is a package that says tabbouleh on it, but from what I understand, those packages, it comes with the bulgar with already um, parsley in there, but I like to make it fresh at home. But maybe if you're on the go and you have something quick, maybe that might work for you. But anyway, so I get the number two. Number two means the size of the bulgari once it's cooked. The larger the number, the bigger the bulgari is when it's ready to go. And the directions are on the back on how to make that. Very easy, put it in hot water and you cook it for about 10, 15 minutes. And then it changes structure. So this is how it looks like, all grainy. If you guys make quinoa, it's very similar in the cooking process as that. So again, this is how it looks like, and this is what it'll become. I have two cups in here, okay? Two cups of uncooked bulgari, okay? And this is what two cups will look like, okay? And then I have, um, Red onions, this is a medium to small size onion and I chopped it up with my handy dandy chopper. And, oops, oopsie. And this one here is a three uh, medium sized tomatoes, okay? And we're gonna get some uh, salt and pepper and olive oil and you're just gonna put it all together. So let's get started. Also, I forgot to mention with the parsley, I usually cut the ends of it and then I rinse it and then I toss it in a food processor. So just want to let you know that's how I do it. So um, here I'm going to just dump my parsley. Again, you know, it just depends on how many people you're planning to make this for. Um, <clears throat> you know, and usually I make this salad um, at least a couple of hours beforehand so that it can really grab the flavor of the lemon juice and that the tabbouleh and everything can be chilled. Okay, so here is the bulgari. Now, you can add a little, you can add more in it, whatever whatever you want, okay? So I'm gonna add this much and then I'll go add, you know, I'll add as I go. And then same thing with the onion. I don't know, so I'm just gonna go as I go and see how much of it I wanna add. And the tomatoes, I think the tomatoes are good. And, Salt, and again, you know, you make it, you taste it, you need to add, no problem. But remember, you can always add, you can take away the, the you know, the ingredients that you added in here. Okay, and some olive oil. I added some pepper, I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper to it too. And I got lemon juice. Now, you can make it really lemony, you can make it a little lemony. Again, this is totally up to you what you wanna do. And that's pretty much it. You can add cucumbers, for example, in it, but um, I like it this way. So you just make sure you mix it all well. And tabbouleh is really good to eat it as breakfast or something for breakfast or just something on the side if you wanted something to snack on it is a pretty healthy meal and this is good for a side dish like a sandwich or you know whatever your heart desires i'm going to add some more lemon juice to it 
Okay, because it's a lot. I made a lot. So I'm going to add some more. Now, if you leave it for a couple of days, it's fine. But it may be really, really sour because of the lemon juice. It gives off water. So if you like that, great. I'm not a fan when it's really sour. Okay, so that's that. That's it. You just made yourself a tabbouleh. I'm going to grab myself a bowl so you guys can have a better look at it. Now you can add more of the Bulgari if you want, but I think I'm pretty good. And so I'm going to take a quick taste of it. See if I want to add anything to it. So I'm enjoying myself here. I think it's fine. I think it's great. Um, so that's it, you guys. This is how you make tabbouleh. Very easy, right? Such a great um, healthy salad to have every day. And um, also maybe your kids might like it. Or should try. Um, once again, my name is Ori. Thank you for watching Ori's Kitchen. Please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Please tell your friends. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.